Hey everyone, it is Jay Soloff from Investors Alley, and this is our options trade of the week. And just to reiterate, if you haven't watched one of these in the past, these trades are for educational purposes only. I have trading services you, you can subscribe to if you're looking for, for actual recommendations. These are not part of those services. This is just to show you educational, uh, from an educational perspective, how to analyze and make an options trade. So for example, we are looking at marketchameleon.com, which is a great place to go to analyze trades. And I'm looking at unusual options volume, which I like to sort by volume to see what some of the bigger names are doing. Like, you know, something like Arc, Arc Innovation, popular tech ETF. And you can see a lot of the actions on the put side, which could be considered bearish. And so this is a good way to kind of find some activity and what's what's going on some of the bigger names. And so what caught my eye here is SMH, which is a you know a pretty popular ETF, trade semiconductors. It's it's a probably the most popular gauge of the semiconductor industry. Trades relatively liquid, forty eight thousand today, which is twice the amount of normal volume. Eighty percent on the call side, which tends to be bullish. Uh, most likely due to the chip shortage you've probably seen in the news. There's a there's a chip shortage and that could be a good sign for companies if they can work out their supply chain issues, right? There's going to be this pent up demand. It could be good for revenues, could be good for bottom line. So that is my guess as to what's going on here. Um, but if we look at the actual trades, we can get a better look. And so again, I sort these by quantity and you can see right away, there's these huge trades, $41 million trade, $23 million trade. So what's going on here? This is likely a roll of a massive covered call. So 10,000 lot covered call, you could see the open interest here. This is probably closing out, moving to this one, which doesn't have any open interest. And it looks like an in the money call being rolled. So from 190 to 220 with the stock at 228, you can see it's stock contingent. So that means it is likely being sold here at 2345, uh, likely a, again, a covered call where you're buying a million shares and selling 10,000 of the options. So the question is, why would you do an in, an in the money call like that? And, and generally that's done. It's a lower risk trade. So you're getting all that premium and, uh, you know, selling the 220 strike. So it, the stock has to go down quite a bit. So your, you know, your basis for doing this trade is, is if you, if you, uh, if you're buying the shares at, at 228, but you're collecting, you know, 23 and a half in premium, then your cost of the trade is something like 206. So you have some downside room. And then once again, you're in the money, right? So your shares will be called away when it expires, but you can just do what happened here and that's roll out the trade if necessary. The other thing is, is that there's going to be some extra time value that you can capture there. So that's what SMH obviously can continue going up uh, before August. So there's going to be additional value besides the intrinsic value right now with the stock at around 229 and the strike at 220, this thing would be worth nine at expiration, but they sold it for 23 and a half, which means there's that 14 and a half dollars of time value that potentially could be collected by the end of the, of, of the, um, end of the life of this particular trade. So an interesting way to trade, uh, obviously you don't need to do this kind of size, but you could do this in a smaller, to a smaller, extent with one lot or a couple lots. Uh, you can see here, SMH has been on, been on the rise. It's been more volatile lately, which is maybe one reason why the premium is, is so much higher than the intrinsic value. There's always going to be some time premium in there, but it might go up based on the volatility in the stock. So looking at it here, you can see here's August, only nine additional options traded in there besides that 10,000 lot. And so you can see it's as simple as just doing a covered call or covered stock. In this case, here's an example of selling 10 of the options, buying a thousand. You can see that the cost is about 206. So that's your, that's your break even point there. And then you could go, um, there's no upside, right? So, since you're selling in the money that doesn't have a, it's already capped, but that cap is the difference between the intrinsic value and the, uh, and the extrinsic, the time value, which again is, you know, 14 some dollars. So still a decent amount of, of, uh, of money to be made on a trade like this. So interesting in the money options trade in SMH. Um, if you're looking for more simple directional trading calls and puts, I have option for trader pro linked on this page, uh, check it out. If you're interested in 
that sort of options trading. And I'll be back next week for another trade of the week.